In 2012, Carl Smith and Grabiol and their team at MIT did an interesting experiment with rats in order to understand habits. The idea was to see if a region of the brain called the infralimbic cortex is important for controlling habits in real time. In order to test this hypothesis, rats were subject to a process called optogenetics that allows a specific region of the brain to be shut down using light. The rats were introduced into a tea maze, which provided the reward of a chocolate milk on one end and sugar water in the other. The rats were to turn towards the chocolate milk or towards the sugar water based on an audible cue chocolate milk. Sugar water. just before the T-junction. The first phase was training the rats, where the rats ran the maze and were only rewarded when they entered the correct arm. Sugar water. Oh. Sugar water. Hmm. Chocolate milk. No. Chocolate milk. Mm. Chocolate milk. Sugar water. After a while, rats learned where to turn based on the cue. The second phase was devaluation. The rats would be given chocolate milk and shortly after injected with lithium chloride. This made them feel nauseous. They would then associate this unpleasant feeling with a reward, in this case the chocolate milk, and his not not want to drink it anymore. The rats were put back on the maze. Chocolate milk. The control rats continued following the queue. But this time, they didn't drink the chocolate milk. How about the rats who were applied with optogenetics? Chocolate milk. These rats completely avoided the bad side and went straight to the good side. Sugar water. Regardless of what the cue said. Chocolate milk. Sugar water. A new habit was hence formed. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. What was even more surprising is when the light was turned back on, the rats switched back to their old habit. And in fact, they even drank the chocolate milk. Sugar water.